Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to make a video, um, I guess, kind of talking about the event. Yeah, I hear some weird sound. Oh, that's just, that's just my green screen behind me. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's being noisy. It's being noisy. Um, first of all, before, before we start, before we begin, I am not a hundred percent like coherent right now. It's probably a bad, bad idea to make a guide video at this moment. I should, should have probably made like a monster spotlight, but I want, I kind of already made a monster spotlight before. So I wanted to make a guide video today. Um, but I'm going to be talking about a concept I already talked about before. And this was kind of, kind of brought up by some comments that I, I got, um, a lot of players that have been playing Monster Super League, uh, whether you're a veteran player or just a new player, you might have heard something. Even if you're a new player, you might have heard that for these exotic monsters to spawn, uh, whether you farm on normal mode, hard mode, or extreme mode, it's basically the same. The, the, suppo the drop rates are supposedly the same. Um, I haven't done a lot of testing, but there there have been people that have been doing, uh, you know, have been tallying up the stats and basically showing that they they do have similar results on on Reddit. Um, but the question I've been getting is if if I cannot get um, this like you know the the all the monsters I need or the exotic monsters I need um, or I want is it a good idea to go and farm normal mode um, for those monsters? And I've actually like it's it's quite surprising that I I got the same question a few times. Um, so I'm basically here to to answer those questions. Um, so I'm gonna be talking about farming on on the different on different maps for exotic monsters from normal mode versus hard mode versus extreme mode, and the the pros and cons between that. This is something I've actually talked about in the past already. So um, it's not really any new information, but if this will kind of, uh, I guess, kind of clarify the point or the question that that's been asked. Now, um, the advantage of farming on normal mode, I guess I can show a run of, of random normal modes. What, <laughs> what did I just choke on? I think I like breathed and then like, I, I choked on some dust or some shit. Um, I will farm a stage that a lot of people farms. Like a lot of people farm Pagos Coast, right? This is probably the most popular stage that everybody farms. Pago, Pagos Coast. We'll use Pagos Coast as an example. Now I'll just throw in. I guess it doesn't really matter what team I throw in. Now normal normal mode only costs three energy. So um, for for normal mode, the the pros are it's first of all it's easy because you know it's normal compared to hard and extreme it's a lot easier the monsters are a lot weaker so newer players are able to farm this a lot a little bit faster um and normal mode is also the highest efficiency in terms of um the use of um you know player levels uh yeah in terms of player levels and stamina cost so uh, it, because it only costs three stamina and it basically gives i think it gives almost nearly as much as as exp as extreme mode uh, there's not that much in in the player exp difference meaning that um i, I can't show the xp right now because my account's already max level but basically normal mode hard mode and extreme mode um, give you around the same amount of xp so if you want to level up your account leveling on normal mode is actually the most efficient way in terms of stamina however there are drawbacks in normal mode um it is very very ineffective in terms of astromon xp so if you're trying to level an Ast astromon or normal mode um, it's a lot less um, less effective and the the efficiency between the amount of gold that you get and the amount of stamina that you spend is actually um, the, the lowest compared to extreme mode and hard mode plus there's no dragon sigils because dragon sigils only drop from extreme mode so that's that's normal mode. Um, plus, you only get can get one star gems, but I guess it's the same thing. If you're already like a progressed uh, mid game player, it doesn't really matter what what gems it drops. It's pretty much just going to be sold anyways. So that's yeah. So the, that's that's that for for normal mode. Now um, we're going to be doing a run of hard mode as well. Now the the pros of 
hard mode are basically hard mode has no hard pros and cons um hard mode is just is just the in, in between like it's you have the one extreme which is the the normal mode and the other extreme which is the extreme mode and you have just the in between which is the the hard mode wait did i do extreme i think i accidentally did extreme sorry we'll do a, we'll, we'll do a run of hard mode afterwards um but the the uh the, so the advantages of a hard mode is that um, if you if you're a mid game player and your monsters aren't as strong, like aren't as strong enough to one shot the waves on extreme mode, but they're strong enough to one shot the waves on hard mode, um, you're able to get more runs in. And because hard mode and extreme mode has the same amount of drop rate for, um, oh wait, this is hard mode. I was uh, I was drunk. I I, I am drunk. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not actually drunk. I'm just. Uh, I'm just feeling drunk. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hard mode has no hard pros and cons. So it's kind of the in between between normal mode and extreme mode. Um, you still you don't get dragon sigils. But in terms of efficiency for XP, uh, normal mode is the highest, and extreme mode is actually the lowest because it gives the same amount of XP. And extreme mode costs five energy. Normal mode only costs three energy. Um, hard mode only costs four, so it's kind of the in between the two. And as for gold, uh, extreme mode has the highest efficiency, and normal mode has the lowest. So hard mode is kind of the in between for that as well. But the advantage of har farming hard mode is if you have if you have monsters that aren't strong enough to um, one shot, did they start banging upstairs? Anyways. Um, if you don't have monsters to strong enough to basically like completely one shot the the waves, it's only seven o'clock in the morning. Are you kidding me? Uh, if you don't have monsters strong enough to one shot the waves on extreme mode, then it's much more efficient. Uh, if you're trying to farm for um, the exotic monsters to farm on hard mode, because if you farm on hard mode, you're going to be able to one shot the the entire. You're going to be able to one shot one of the monsters. And then if someone gets their AOE up, they're gonna be you're gonna be able to one shot the entire wave, which means that you're gonna be able to have um, the you know the highest farming efficiency for your current level of monsters. So that's 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 pretty much it for hard mode. Um, as for extreme mode, extreme mode has basically is like the polar opposite of normal mode. It has the fastest. Um, it, it it has the highest um, you know gold to stamina efficiency. So in terms of the stamina that you spend, um, the, the reward or the gold that you, the resources that you get back is the highest. Plus, uh, well actually not a plus, but in, in contrast, um, the, the amount of player XP that you get on extreme mode is actually the lowest. But I don't actually think of player XP as that important. Um, there are some people that are trying to rush th towards their light contract to get their light Odin or light Valk. Or like Arthur, um, I don't think it's that good of an idea to, you know, just kind of do it for the player XP, because you're losing out on a lot of gold efficiency, and you're basically gonna bleed yourself dry. Like you're gonna bleed yourself dry pretty fast if you um, just keep doing normal mode. Now going back to the question of should I farm normal mode um, if I'm not able to catch the exotic monsters? Now, if you have a team that's basically able to one-shot hard mode, and um, yeah, basically you're able to one if you're if you have a team that's able to one-shot extreme mode and farm like like I do for extreme mode, then obviously um, there is absolutely no advantage to for you to farm uh, on on normal or on hard mode. But if you have a, if your monsters are at the level where you're able to one shot the waves um, on hard mode, but not on extreme mode, then you actually get the fastest farm time farming hard mode, right? So, um, in terms of trying to catch as many exotic monsters as possible, it's much better for you to farm hard mode. Now, if you're a tier below that and you're not even able to one shot the waves on hard mode i'm not going to say even like you know some pe a lot of pe players might not be able to do it um then 
your fastest or your highest efficiency is on normal mode. But the thing is, the, the efficiency for, for gold is a lot lower, meaning that you're bleeding, um, you're, you're bleeding pretty fast each time. Every single time that you're farming normal mode versus uh, farming hard mode or extreme mode. So the, the concept is very simple. If you're able to one-shot the waves on extreme mode, there's no reason for you to go down to hard mode. If you're able to do that for hard mode, there's no reason for you to go down to normal mode. Um, and normal mode, if you can only farm normal mode, then, then farm away. You just you kind of just have to farm normal mode. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's really all I want to talk about. It's just... Uh, Hopefully that answers answers some of your questions or concerns about farming the exotic monsters. Um, the spawn rates are supposedly or supposed to be the same on all the different maps and also on all the different modes. So there's no point like you know, hey Fanta, which map did you farm on? I'm gonna try farming on your map. Like it doesn't. It really, it, it's it's not supposed to matter. Maybe they secretly like buff the rates for for a certain map. Um, but it's it's not supposed to matter. All the all the maps are supposed to have the same drop rates, and yeah, I guess I'm I'm never making it to the top again. Now that they introduced those packages, there's a, there's like no way. I'm probably probably pretty low now compared to um, a lot of people. But I guess that's fine. It's it's not like the rewards for like first place was never really good. Like I would I remember I would try to not get first place on some weeks like when i was when i was going um and trying to get first place like i was trying to not get first place on some weeks and was actually trying harder to not do that to get the light dark egg instead of the legendary egg um but yeah this was when i first gleaned my gin like i was one of the only people with with a siphon farmer and my team was just like so efficient that uh like basically nobody else was able to compete but that was that was a long long time ago now everybody has siphon so um, everybody is already at like maximum efficiency but yeah that's that's pretty much it that's all i wanted to talk about i'm just uh i'm just super super like my my schedule has been messed up again because i i do this all the time like i'm supposed to upload like every two days but sometimes like it, it becomes three days but to me it doesn't feel like three days because my schedule keeps getting pushed forward so technically it's before i sleep so it's like it kind of feels like it's the same day do, do you get what i'm saying it's like if you had like a 28 hour day um it's like it's it's kind of like you it's the same day but t technically you're pushing yourself four hours forward you know and i it, it, you do that enough like it, it becomes the next day um yeah that's that's kind of what happened but anyways, that's 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 what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, hopefully, this answers your questions about farming on normal mode or farming on hard mode um, for for exotic events. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.